is the Glenn Beck Program on Mercury Radio Network. Angel Song and Mercury. We will be the king, 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 we will Let's go to California. Tyler. Hello, Tyler. Where in California are you? Oh, my gosh. Let's take a look at this. Wait a minute, wait, 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 wait a minute, wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, stop, stop! Does anybody know where Newt is? Or Mitt is making his victory speech? Ugh. Anyways, sorry about that. Anyways, that's the introduction of the audience. Whatever. It's me, Alex Music. This is the final closing time factor video commentary thoughts. It's gotta be you know who. Super Bowl 3. Uh, Super Bowl week three, whatever it is. Look at my fingers. Trust me about that. Anyways, it's gonna be first of February, first in the year two thousand and twelve. We're gonna talk about this uh, s stuff that's happening about this uh, Mitt Romney's victory speech in the Florida primary and and uh, Newton Centrum and oh god, poor Ron Paul. Well, I'm sorry. Rob is such a sore loser. Whatever. Anyways, <laughs> still up for grabs and uh, talk a little bit um, and and lots more. Oh, oh yes, just about that. Anyways, let's get started with uh, Newt Gingrich. As far as we're concerned, is a what is a victory speech? And uh, look what happens. That's why the GOP candidate says a cup competitive campaign makes his party stronger. Well, you might say so myself, you don't... Uh, yeah, I'll find out what it is. Here it is, take a look and watch this from ABC News. This will refresh your darn memory. Trust me about that. Okay. Speak. Wait, Robbie, before I hold your peace. Thank you. All right, stop cheering. Thank you tonight for this great victory. Still in the race, and I want to congratulate them on another hard-fought contest in this campaign. Primary contests are not easy, and they're not supposed to be. As this primary unfolds, our opponents and the other party have been watching, and they like to comfort themselves with the thought that a competitive campaign will leave us divided and weak. But I've got news for them. Uh-oh. A competitive primary does not divide us, it prepares us, and we will win. We will win? We will win? Oh, God. How s- Oh, just a minute. Let's see. How so? Now, everybody watches, watches the primary uh, debate yesterday. And uh, New King, uh, Mitt Romney just win 47 points. What about New Gingrich? Well, you might say so, so myself. Well, of course, it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even, even matter. Trust me about that. Well, I have no clue. Well, New Gingrich is not conceding race after losing for the primary. That's why the GOP candidates vows to stay in the remaining 46 primary races. Races. Yeah. Yeah. 
I know. Here's Newt Gingrich in a very losing way of speaking. Trust me about that. Take a look and watch this. And I talked about this, and everybody here has been so positive in every part of the state that we just thank all of you for the hospitality and the kindness. We thank the well over a half million Floridians who voted for us. And I think Florida did something very important coming on top of South Carolina. It is now clear that this will be a two-person race between the conservative leader, Newt Gingrich, and the Massachusetts moderate. And the voters of Florida really made that clear. Now you'll notice the number of folks are holding up a sign about 46 states to go. We did this in part for the elite media because uh, you know, the same people who said I was dead in June and July and said I was gone after Iowa, who seemed totally quiet the night of the South Carolina victory, are now going to be back saying, what's he going to do, what's he going to do, what's he going to do? So I just want to reassure them tonight. We are going to contest every place, and we are going to win, and we will be in Tampa as the nominee in August. Yeah. Well, what you see by that? As far as we concerned. So everyone will winning this primary. That's what you see about that. If you, Newt Gingrich, beat uh, Mitt Romney, and don't say full of baloney, you might think it's FDR, as I said on my Time Factor radio show yesterday, last weekend. As far as we concerned. Yeah, I hope so. Here's now. So what's next on our list? It's going to be Rick Santorum is in third place. That means T.O.B. hopeful to stay in the course of despite the finishing the third. It could be the distant third. Whatever it is. So, without further ado, here's uh, Rick Santorum. I, see, I try to do something about this. I've endorsed Rick Santorum and it's going to be good. Trust me about that. Take a look and watch this. Gift goes on whatever it is. And Thursday, Thursday is going to be, you know who that's right, one and only uh, presidential debate on Thursday in Las Vegas, Nevada. Well, that's what you see about that. And I'm surprised that um, Rick Santorum's daughter is in, she's in the hospital. We keep in touch with her first floor. Rick Santorum, Rick Santorum and his family. Keep touch our first. Now, Ron Paul losing fourth one. Uh, whatever. Whatever. Could be a sore loser. And you might think it's so smart about we need more personal liberty. This guy, Texas, Texas, Texas con Congressman Dr. Ron Paul. It's being vowed to continue is restoring America now. Oh boy. <sighs> Take a look and watch this before I make myself disperse. Like I said, Ron Paul is a liberal. Don't even say it. We're coming out. You know, we're 
know, just just, just a little while ago, I called uh, Governor uh, Romney and congratulated him. We had a friend of. No, oh, yeah. uh, no, no, no. Now, we, look we what you. Friendly conversation. Yeah, yeah, and, right. Uh, you uh, are. Honestly, congratulate him. He ran a good campaign. But I also said I would see him soon in the caucus states. Okay, 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 okay. You and your stupid talking points. You and your stupid talking points memo. Oh, God. Uh, Remy. Congratulations, Romney and uh, uh, Romney and the uh, uh, the audience will boo you. And your stupid talking voice is just dumb. Ah, can't believe you said that. Oh, good. But according to this, Mitt Romney just win the primary, and that's why he's sailing to you know who victory. I couldn't. Conceive this as a heart attack. As a victory. In the Florida Republican presidential primary after weeks, and Newt Gingrich was in second. Rick Centrum, well, I endorse Rick Centrum. I'm very proud of him. Trust me about that. Trust me about that. Well, so much for that thing. And he finishes, uh, and Ron Paul's just finished last. Loser! Oh god, here's uh, your update. Trust me about that. You don't want to know about this one. And, uh, and look at this. George Stephanopoulos. Stop right there. Now you see, Red Romney has 48 points percent and Duke Gingrich has 37. <laughs> wow, so much for that thing, as far as we're concerned. So you just had to trust me about that. So, hope the four Republican people, uh, four Republicans go inside Las Vegas this Thursday. You never know what's going up next. Just about that. Anyways, that's it. Congratulations, congratulations on Mitt Romney, New Gingrich uh, on second, and don't worry, Rick Center is gonna be climbing up to third. As far as we can see, and Ron Paul has to stay here. Fourth, loser. Fourth place, whatever. Anyways, tomorrow, week four, about this Jonathan Mart Martin and all that stuff. You don't want to miss this. Don't forget to Facebook me and follow me at Facebook.com slash LH Music Time and so is Twitter.com slash LH Music Time. And check my website LH Music Time for the LH Music Time Fighter website and why we will be the real conservative key for the real conservative answers. That's why the real conservative truth lives here. Trust me. If you don't like it, too darn bad. Never mind. Anyways. <laughs> LH Music, America's lovable possible Christian conservative is signing off. And go with God's blessings. See you tomorrow for week, uh, day five or week five, whatever it is, of Super Bowl week. Trust me about that. And don't worry, we're going to have some fun on Friday. And I'm signing off. LH Music, gotta go. Bye-bye for now. See ya.